The gentleman from Florida, Mr. Frost. The gentleman from Florida is recognized for two and a half minutes. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in opposition to H.R. 5. I rise in opposition as someone who's actually been a student in our public school system within the last decade. I rise as someone who is the son of a public school educator, special education teacher of 37 years. Love you, Mom. And I also rise as someone who sat on my local school board for two years as the student representative. This, this bill is modeled after one that I know very well, uh, Florida's parental rights in the education law. Most of us know it as don't say gay. And don't say gay infringes on um, parents' rights, including LGBTQ plus and supportive parents. Bills like this make schools more hostile and make no mistake, it results in hate, bigotry, and yes, sometimes death of our students in schools. Republican lawmakers won't even allow my amendment to be considered that protects the First Amendment rights of parents. We want to talk about parental rights. What about their First Amendment right to fight for their children, LGBTQ plus children, who are fighting for gender affirming and life saving care? One of my colleagues brought this up, but this bill focuses on parents' rights. But what about the rights of our students? What about the rights of our young people? Why are my Republican colleagues not advocating for our students? Is it because they know that the majority of young people despise legislation like this and do not support legislation like this that is bigoted? Is it because this generation is the most progressive generation this country has ever seen because they want a world where everybody can succeed, where we see the world through the eyes of the most vulnerable? See, the party is branded on freedom and liberty, but what about the freedom and liberties of young people? and students who actually sit in the classroom. I mean, if Republican lawmakers cared so much about what's happening in our schools, they would focus on feeding kids so we can ensure that everyone can learn on a full stomach. If Republican lawmakers cared so much about what's happening in our schools, they would make sure that students have updated technology, teachers have the resources they need so students can actually learn. If Republican lawmakers cared so much about what's happening in schools, what about the kids who are gunned down in their classrooms? the leading cause of death in this country being uh, gun violence for young people. None of that is in this bill. This bill is just a vehicle for hate and political nonsense pushing a chosen wedge issue. It's not about policy, it's about politics. It's not about freedom and liberty, it's about the fear of a problem that doesn't exist. I yield back.